Okay, yeah, so uh, this is uh, Aston Martin uh, Vanquish, I think. Uh, uh, steering column horn switch. You see the little horn emblem down in there. And uh, it goes into a uh, organically shaped uh, alcove in the horn. When you push this button right here, beep, beep, beep. The original system in it was not really a great system. They have a tendency to break all of the time. Uh, this, we now have a switch in there that uh, looks like this, which is a readily obtainable switch. It's a momentary contact switch, has two terminals on it, pretty simple. Easily handles the amperage load uh, of a relay and put probably even a, a direct horn, but I don't think it, that's the case. The original uh, uh, contacts in this, I'll show you in a second. As soon as we take this apart to show you how it works, I'll just put this in here like this. This innards here, which was originally part of a double sleeve mechanism, we've now put a plastic plug in that fits exactly the top of our little red switch. But also made it thread in and out so that the actual throw is adjustable. Uh, inside here, before we started with this threaded uh, mechanism that's in here now, there was a much smaller plastic uh, tube in there, as you can see by this uh, contact right here, which was part of the original horn switch arrangement. Unfortunately, the walls of the original push button switch were too weak and they break all the time. So we're trying to do a retro here for uh, repairs. So we put this in, in this threaded collared sleeve. And, and by the way, this is the most important thing. This bronze sleeve that we pressed in here was part of our original prototyping. In fact, if we were back down to the original plastic, this bronze sleeve doesn't need to be there in there at all. We could put this exact uh, 3 8 fine thread. I think it's 24. It's tighter than that anyway. Uh, uh, we could just absolutely thread that right into the plastic and do away with this entire bronze sleeve. So uh, this screws in here like this. And now it's hard, kind of hard to see in here. Maybe you can see if you look. We have a tiny Phillips head screwdriver uh, screw in here. So when we put this down like this uh, and, and press it into place... It sticks on, you can barely see through the window here. We can actually go into the into here with a uh, tiny uh, double-out screwdriver and tighten uh, this against what is already an interference onto the tip of the red button. But uh, you can see, beep, 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 beep. It stabilizes it as good as the original did. And now we can adjust it for sensitivity by unscrewing it or screwing it out for more room. Our only concern here now is, of course, the original contact was very short and had a, uh, a contact on it like this. And so what we now, I can actually cut these off and solder close wires to them for positive and negative, but we, we have to make sure that there's room in the steering wheel for the base of this switch. So that's what we're asking you about right now. So uh, let's continue to prototype and uh, that's my story. I'm sticking to it.